circle the fairgrounds. It looks like a pretty big show, too. So hey Preston, uh, so tell us about your YouTube channel. So I am Preston from the PGK Railway. Um, I started my channel back in February, and as you guys can see by the table, I got a little bit too much stuff. But oh, okay. I'm 21 years old, doing all gauge, and I've been in this hobby for about 16 years now. Oh, okay, how did you first get interested in the hobby? I started with the typical case of people my age, Thomas the Tank Engine, and then it evolved into getting a Lionel set for Christmas. Oh, okay, that sounds like a good start. I one of my sons really liked Thomas and Friends growing up, and that's how he got started too. It's the best way to get started. Yeah. So you say you have a, a layout at home, like four by eight, is that yeah. right? Yeah. It's a very small four by eight table with two loops, trying to keep it semi-small, because no basement in Florida, unfortunately. So how's the train show going so far? Getting much traffic? A lot better than I thought it was going to go. But this is also my first time doing this, but yeah. we've had a lot of people come in, a lot of people are interested in just odds and ends. Yeah. And so you're well, you're making some good deals too, which I noticed. So that's much appreciated. A lot of this is mainly just I want to. I'm not trying to rip anyone. I'm trying yeah. to make room in my collection, but also make sure people can get stuff at a good price. Okay. Well, thanks, Preston. Nice yeah. meeting you. Well, be sure to check out your channel. Sounds good. Thank you. So much. Very good. Good job. Thank you. It's interchangeable. So if you get tired of the same scenery, you can pull it out. Oh it's, yeah. It's called right. by the Velcro. Then you can put a newer one in it with a different scenery. Then you get your cabinet for the con size, the locomotives, the power pack all in one. Exactly. You're very creative. Yeah. <laughs> Can you blow the whistle, please, one more time? <laughs> What's that? Can you blow the whistle again? I want to try yeah, to get yeah, a little yeah. video of it. I got a YouTube please. channel. We probably had to do it for
train show was a wonderful show, well attended, lots of vendors, wonderful train display layouts. It was a lot of fun and a lot of wheeling and dealing went on. This is my loot right here. Um, some good deals on American Flyer. This little refrigerated box car was $10. This one, American Refrigerator Transit was 10. This beautiful operating mail car was 15. I can't remember the prices on everything, but this pre-war gondola was 10. I like it because it's a stamp lettering version, which is late before the war, probably 39 or 40 or thereabouts. There was some box Tyco stuff, two bucks for a box. Another one, the Clementine. Those are the prices that were on them, but I bundled, so I don't know what I really paid, but it was two or less. A little Maine Central, because my family has a connection with the state of Maine. A little Rocky Mountain Lion, I believe that's Tyco. This is the smokestack, but that's no big deal. It was thrown into the bundle. It was marked at $2, but I think I paid less. This is another $2 deal. I don't know if it's complete it's a little kit it's pretty nifty it's all this metal with a nice lettering on the sides it'll be a fun project to work on it came in this roundhouse box that's right here in front of me good rainy day project with the box now this is an interesting thing this is a Tyco steam engine kit it appears to be complete Chances are it is complete, but I have no way of knowing. But look at that, folks. That'll be interesting to mess around with. A Mikado, it looks like. 282 wheel arrangement. That's another nice rainy day project. Then I got this sealed in the original box. I think I paid 10, but it's the Tyco coaling station. So I'll just put that aside. If I ever get to build a bigger HO layout, I'd like to put that on it. This is kind of unique. It's the Bachman operating caboose. Apparently the guy has something to do with it. It says the brakeman grabs mail on the fly, door goes inside, door closes automatically, track not included. Well, if it really works like that, and that remains to be seen, that'll be quite interesting. Then we have a Tyco unloading box car. And it's probably complete. You can see it looks complete. It's all looks like it's all there in the original packaging. Got the little man in. There's two little men in there, which is important to have both little men. It's kind of neat they put two men in there. Now here's a challenge. These Atherm shells for a dollar a piece. I bought it because Canadian National is kind of hard to come by. Unfortunately, they don't have horns. They're just the, the naked shell. 
And then there's this, this, another one. This was a dollar for the nice Milwaukee Road shell. And it's another Canadian National. They have the ladders and all that, and that's important. So, knowing I'm going to need mechanisms, I think I paid 10 or 15 dollars for this junk box. These are parts. A lot of old Athern and other parts. We're hoping that with this stuff, I might be able to find a mechanism to run these things on. This one looks like it might fit if I can make it run. It's only a one truck drive. Must be really old, whatever it is. But you can see there's a lot of F unit stuff down in here. I don't know, this is probably a dummy unit here. I mean, there's so much parts in here. I don't really do a flywheels on that one, do flywheels. No flywheels on this one, but it has the headlight mechanism. It might run good. We'll see what can be done. This is nice though, because it's uh, British Columbia. And it has their grab rails. Got one broken step here, but you know, another one on this end. We'll see. I don't know if anything will come of it. So it's just parts. Another, because of the main connection of the family. There was a guy there that was trying to get rid of tons and tons of plastic bill. This apartment house was two bucks. He had like a dollar or two for most of it to get rid of it. And then I got the, this uh, MPC era. Cop and hobo car. And the, the, the little men are in there. This is the thing that goes with it. And then here's the car that says hydraulic platform maintenance, built in 82. And then there was a custom American Flyer steam engine with smoke. <laughs> Almost dropped it, that'd be great. I believe it's all die cast. Beautiful tender, Southern. I paid, I think about 25 for this, which is probably about, about what it would be worth if it wasn't custom. And I got a caboose with it. It's illuminated. My son, J-Man, also did well at the train show, and he, he can show you his stuff. So, J-Man is back with you now, one of John Long's Silver Sons, and this is a uh, American Flyer steam whistle that I got at the train show today. It was only $5. It came with a controller, and I, I think it works, but I'll have to test it soon. And this was a little Plasticville log cabin for about a dollar, so I really like that. And sometimes we do western scenes for the Tallahassee train show on the O-gauge layout. This is a uh, Plasticville bank. And I have one of these already that I did a uh, scene for Scrooge McDuck's money bin. But the roof on mine was damaged and this one is in a lot better shape. So I mainly needed it for that roof piece. And then this is a frosty bar. It's a little bit damaged on top but it was only $5. So I think I can have fun with that. It could be fun painting it up and customizing it at that price. This is a little pre-war uh, clock for a train station and it was only $2 so I couldn't resist it. I don't know who makes it because there's no markings on it. So if any viewers know, please let me know. And then I got this damaged uh, horse transport car. It has a broken truck underneath as you can see. but. I got this for $5 and the guy threw in this little flat car. So I could probably use this truck on the horse transport car from the flat car. And then lastly, I got a uh, really neat uh, couple of freight cars here. V&O, American Flyer, the knuckle couplers, and then another V&O, Baltimore and Ohio red freight car, as you can see, box car. And then there's a really neat steam engine here, Baltimore and Ohio, and it uses liquid smoke. So I'll have fun running that when I get back home. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you. Mm -hmm.